Traditional methods sometimes have their limits when teaching children their set curriculum. What's more, new approaches are often required for them to acquire the knowledge and skills they need for the future. Imagination, discipline, resilience, collaboration. Many consider these skills as key to succeeding in today's world. For this reason, and to support the national education system, the UK-based organisation Creativity, Culture and Education launched the Creative Partnerships Project in 2002, inviting creative professionals into the classroom. The model involves head teachers, teaching staff and creative practitioners from a variety of fields, such as theatre, dance, cooking and landscape design, working together to improve teaching practice. For each project, the partnership addresses a specific learning issue identified within the school. The pupils continue to study their standard curriculum, but in a very different way, which stimulates their creativity and problem-solving skills. The main beneficiaries of creative partnerships are primary and secondary school children who have a relatively low socio-economic status. The 8,000 projects conducted across the UK have reached approximately 1 million pupils. Birch's Head High School in Stoke-on-Trent in England conducted a programme of this type over three years, starting in 2009. The aim was to improve the literary skills of young boys with the help of a graphic designer and a drama specialist. Poetry and writing were taught through police detective games and the creation and marketing of a fashionable new soft drink. Group games made reading and writing much more exciting and the role-play exercises improved their confidence and that of the teachers. The results were outstanding. Success rates for boys aged 14 to 16 years old almost doubled in three years. As a result, teachers adopted these new learning methods and embedded them in their normal teaching practice. Winning a WISE Award in 2011 has contributed to improving the visibility and the marketing of creative partnerships internationally. However, despite the positive impact of the initiative, the programme is currently on hold in the UK, pending further developments linked to funding. Nonetheless, many of the thousands of schools across the country which have benefited from these partnerships are still implementing the approaches and techniques they have learnt. And today, the programme is being replicated in Lithuania, Norway and Germany. A primary school in Kaunas, in Lithuania, brought in a sound artist to teach children how to read and write children were invited to listen to sounds in real locations, such as the school, a railway station, and an indoor market, and to interpret what they heard. They then needed to invent a new word that best captured these different sounds and atmospheres. The project was called, How Does a Word Grow? And the pupils dramatically improved their literacy skills. According to the teacher, the dictionary became the most popular book in school. Projects are also conducted in science, math and other traditional subjects. All are designed in such a way as to include the development of new skills and to progress through different stages where students work in groups, are required to show resilience and determination and need to be imaginative. Creative partnerships is a source of inspiration for innovative teaching and a model of how to develop creative skills in a fast-changing world.